Welcome to Life Love and Comedy, hosted by Am. We simplify life's complexities with honest, drama free discussions on growth, diverse perspectives, politics, and boys' love. Episodes are available in Thai and English, and overall, the podcast may include strong language and touch on sensitive topics. If you're ready to listen, hit play and let's get into it. All right, so get ready to dive into the world of Thai filmmaking. We got some really interesting stuff on Cometive by Am, and this is not your average production company, not at all. It's amazing, you know, how they've kind of found this unique voice. They make stories that people all over the world connect with, but they're still truly Thai at heart. Yeah, that's what makes them so intriguing. It all starts with that name, Cometive by Am. Not your typical company name, right? Definitely makes you remember it. And when you think about what it means, it's really about their philosophy. Like they've said, it's this blend of community, comedy, and creative that tells you a lot about how they work together and their playful way of making films. Like they're saying, "Hey, come be creative with us." And of course, Am is Am Anasorn, the founder. Yeah, he's known for supporting independent voices, someone who gets the power of a fresh perspective. And you can see that in the risks they take. These aren't your everyday stories, not even close. They're tackling really sensitive social issues, digging into complex emotions, pushing the limits of what we expect from Thai cinema, and across so many different genres, from those emotionally intense series like Till the World Ends to the hard-hitting social commentary in Call It What You Want, they're not afraid to try new things and break the mold. And it's working. They've racked up something like 300 million views on their production since 2017. But even more importantly, they're getting people talking. You know? Yeah. And the emotional responses from audiences worldwide are powerful. Speaking of audience reactions, let's get into some of their most well-known works and see what people are saying. Till the world ends, for instance. That one seems to have really hit home. Yeah, fascinating concept. Okay, so picture this: two young guys, art. A business student who's lost his memory after this awful accident, and then there's golf, a med student dealing with a tough family history, and they're thrown together during, get this, the last 13 days on Earth. Wow, talk about pressure! Sounds like the ultimate setup to explore what it means to be human. You know those connections we make, how fragile life is, all with the world ending soon. Exactly, and from what I've seen, committed by Am Am uses this crazy situation to delve into love, loss, searching for meaning when everything's falling apart. No wonder people are calling it an emotional roller coaster and saying it's a real tearjerker. One comment even said, "I don't want this series to end. We need a season two. It's really yeah. something how invested people have become in these characters and their stories." Shows you the power of good storytelling, don't you think? They created this world that feels both relatable and completely captivating, even with the whole end of the world thing looming over it. And it's more than just the story itself. People are praising the filmmaking too, the way they use visuals, music. Even the pacing to make those emotions hit harder, it's really effective. They get it. Storytelling isn't just about words on a page or a script. It's about creating this whole experience that pulls you in and doesn't let go. Right. So, till the world ends is all about intense emotions with the apocalypse as a backdrop. But then you have call it what you want, which is a whole different kind of drama, right? Uh -huh. Absolutely. That one dives into the BL entertainment world, the stuff most people don't see. The pressures, what's expected of these young actors, the complexities of fame and relationships. And from what we've seen, people are applauding its authenticity, how it tackles tough issues head on. One viewer even called it a trendsetter, for showing the behind the scenes of the BL world. It's clear they're not afraid to shake things up and start conversations about difficult topics. They're using their platform to shed light on things people don't talk about enough, and that's incredibly powerful. And you know they're serious about taking on tough subjects when they've had films banned in their own country, <laughs> right? They're not afraid to cause a stir if it means staying true to the story. That's what makes their work so interesting. They're not just here to entertain. They're here to challenge us, provoke us, make us think, and that realness. You know, it comes through in another thing they did, the Two Moons Two series. You might know this one, especially if you're into Thai Beale dramas. Two Moons Two. It already had this really popular first season, so fans were already pretty passionate. And then Kamedov by Awam steps in to produce season two. The pressure was on. Yeah, taking on a series that's already got a following—that's got to be tricky. Like walking a tightrope, you know? Yeah. Did they pull it off? 
from what we've seen, yeah, they really did. There were some fans who were worried at first, you know, about the cast changes, which makes sense, get attached to the actors. But commended by Alam, they didn't just meet those expectations, they weren't above and beyond. Shows you they understand what clicks with viewers. What were people saying mm -hmm. specifically? Lots of praise for the new cast, that was a big one. People were impressed with the chemistry between the actors, how the story really dug deeper into those characters, their emotions, you know, what makes them tick. It's one thing to show a romance, it's another to get those little things that make it feel real. Totally. And that seems to be something you see again and again with Kameda by FM. Yeah. That ability to balance, you know, the fun, lighthearted stuff with real emotional depth. Yeah, exactly. And they're not afraid to play around with different genres either. Like take Bangkok Dark Tales, for example. It's a bit different from those romantic dramas they're known for. This one goes straight into thriller territory. Okay, now I have to know more. Tell me about Bangkok Dark Tales. What kind of thrills are we talking about? Well, it's like a bunch of interconnected stories and they all explore this... Well, the dark side of Bangkok, you could say. Those hidden parts, the secrets lurking beneath the surface. And knowing Kemetiv by Aham, how they like to keep things real, I bet they don't hold back on the gritty stuff. So, edge of your seat suspense, social commentary, maybe even a few scares along the way. You got it. It's that willingness to explore all sides of being human, the good and the bad. That's what makes their work so interesting. They're not afraid to hold a mirror up to society, even if it means facing some hard truths. It's about pushing those boundaries, you know, getting those important conversations started. And it's not just limited to Thailand either. And speaking of pushing boundaries, their commitment to working with people from other countries, it's pretty incredible. Totally. I mean, it would be easy to just focus on Thailand, right? Yeah. But Kometive by Idam, they're thinking globally. They've worked with some Big names, Netflix, Amazon, bringing their style of storytelling to a much bigger audience. And it's not just about getting their stuff out there, is it? They're actively involved in making these co-productions, working side by side with creative teams all over the world. It's like they're creating this tapestry of stories, pulling together threads from all these different cultures, different points of view. And I think that's so powerful, especially these days. It's like building bridges, helping people understand each other, reminding us that we're all connected through the power of stories. Makes me think about the founder in Epi Manasorn. It takes a certain kind of vision to not only see that these stories can appeal to people everywhere, but to actually make those collaborations work. They call him a visionary, a champion for independent filmmaking. Sounds like he deserves those titles. Absolutely. And it's more than just having a vision, right? It's about building an environment where those ideas can grow. And Aman Anasorn, he gets that. He's created this company culture that values creativity, working together and pushing those limits. And that goes beyond just the movies and shows themselves, right? We've seen that they're invested in helping the next generation of filmmakers. Exactly. They've got this whole division focused on talent management, developing new talent, acting training, mentoring, even workshops on the business side of things. They're not just making content. They're building this whole community of passionate storytellers. It's about leaving a legacy that lasts longer than any single movie or show. And that legacy goes beyond the screen, too. One thing that really impressed me about Kometa by Imam is how committed they are to social responsibility. They're not just using their platform to tell stories, they're using it to make a real difference. You know, you see that a lot with companies that have a real sense of purpose, yeah. right? They understand that when you're successful, you have a responsibility to give back. So what kind of social initiatives are they involved in? It's great to see a company that actually walks the walk. You know, so many talk about giving back, but Committed by AM is out there actually doing it. What really stood out to you? Well, their partnership with the Thai Health Promotion Foundation, that was something else, you know. They use their platform to raise awareness about mental health, which is so important, right? Especially for young people. It's something we don't talk about enough. And it fits so well with the themes they explore, right, in their films and shows. I mean, they're dealing with some heavy stuff. Uh, Complex emotions, relationship issues, the pressures of fame. It's not all just light and fun. Absolutely. It shows you what they value. Yeah. And they've also been working with the Thai Red Cross Society, supporting disaster relief and blood drives. Really important work. They even teamed up with the Japanese government on a project using film to promote cultural exchange. It's like they're using storytelling, this universal language, to bridge those cultural gaps and bring people closer. You said it. And, you know, I think that brings us back to why Kometive by Am is so interesting. They found this unique space for themselves by being true to their artistic vision, but also embracing this role of making a positive impact. It's a powerful combination. They're showing that you don't have to choose between entertainment and social responsibility. You can have both. 
you can push those boundaries, get those important conversations going, and still entertain people at the same time. That's what makes storytelling really impactful, right? They're not just holding up a mirror to the world. They're using their voice to imagine a better one. So to our listener who sent us down this comedive by Ammer rabbit hole, thank you. This deep dive has been incredible. We found a company that's changing what it means to be a creative force. They've definitely given us a lot to think about, that's for sure. It's going to be exciting to see what they do next, how they keep evolving and shaking things up. I think this is just the beginning of a really amazing story. Can't wait to see what they do next. Thanks for listening to Life, Love, and Comative. If you enjoyed the show, please follow, subscribe, and share. Your support helps amplify our voices and ensures we keep bringing you meaningful conversations. Visit comativebyaam.com to join us and make a difference. See you next time.